Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtEarlyHouse.com and today I'm going to be doing a fall meal plan. I love fall time and I love fall time foods. It's just a time for comfort food. It's time to cook up pumpkins and squash and oh, it's just all my favorites. So you see here behind me these pretty fall decorations. Well, fall decorations do not last long in my house. They sit there for like a day and then they end up in the crock pot or the oven and we end up eating them. So I love to make pumpkin pancakes and muffins and breads, but we also use them for things that might be a little bit different. We like to put them in savory things. We like to put them in tacos and pasta, pretty much everything. We just all love that. And I love taking my kids to the pumpkin patch. So every time we go, we get pie pumpkins, they all want one, so that's a lot of pie pumpkins, so we're just constantly cooking them all season long. And obviously, this time of year, they are growing in the garden, so we can find them a little bit cheaper. We always have a ton of butternut squash and acorn squash around. So I'm just gonna show you some different meal ideas and things that we make with these things. Okay, so the first recipe that I'm going to share is a butternut squash pasta sauce. This is so delicious. So you start off by just taking a butternut squash, peeling it, taking out the seeds, and dicing it into small little cubes. After you have your butternut squash all cubed up, you're gonna want to roast this. So I put it into my cast iron skillet, drizzle it with a little bit of oil, some salt, and I put it in the oven for about an hour at 375. Once the squash is soft, I remove it from the cast iron and I put it into a blender to puree it to make my sauce. Now, because I have a baby right now, I did take a little bit of this out to save for him. He loves butternut squash and Benjamin is still not eating really too many solid foods even though he's 10 months. He likes things pureed, so I've been giving him a lot of pumpkin and butternut squash and things, so I saved a little bit of this out, but I used the rest to make my sauce. Okay, that was a side note. To go on with the sauce, after I had it pureed, I went over to my stove top and I sauteed some garlic and some butter on my cast iron skillet and then I added in the pureed butternut squash, just stirred it around, added in some cream to make it a nice creamy sauce and then you can just pour your favorite noodles in with this, stir it up. This makes a perfect side to a roasted chicken or really to anything in the fall time. And it's obviously very healthy because you're getting a whole butternut squash. This might be a good way to get your kids on board for eating squash and some different veggies if you put it with pasta. My kids just think this is macaroni and cheese. It has kind of the same color. You could add some cheese to this too, but I find it with just that butter and garlic, a little bit of cream. This is a wonderful, savory dish for the fall time. Okay, the second meal I'm gonna share is pumpkin tacos. Now this might be a little bit different, something that maybe you don't like or you haven't tried before, you haven't heard of. I made this for my family and my husband had his nose up from when I said we're having pumpkin tacos and he was very, very surprised. He told me to add that into our weekly meal plan. Everyone loved it. So I started this off the same way that we started off the butternut squash pasta. I just cut up, I peeled it, removed the inside, and diced it into small pieces. I put it into a nine by 13 pan, I drizzled it with a little bit of oil, and I added a little bit of pumpkin pie spice just because it makes it so good, and I roasted the pumpkins. Now, while the pumpkin was roasting, I pan seared some corn tortillas, I diced up some tomatoes and onions and jalapenos, just all of your favorite taco toppings. roasted some corn in my cast iron skillet. So I just heated up my skillet, added in a little bit of oil, put in some frozen corn. I added in some chili powder or just some type of like taco seasoning. Then I added my pumpkin into the corn, stirred it all up, and now the corn and the pumpkin is going to be your main filling for your tacos. So the next step is just assembling your tacos the way that you like them. Put in my roasted corn and pumpkin and then just top it with my favorite taco toppings. This makes a delicious and healthy taco. We absolutely love this and this will be something that we'll be doing a lot this fall. The third 
meal I'm going to share is a creamy chicken soup. Start off by just putting some oil into a big stock pot, adding in some diced carrots, onions, and celery to saute. Then I added in a bunch of garlic to saute too because you always need garlic. Basically, if a recipe calls for garlic, I add more. I added in some homemade bone broth, some shredded chicken, some diced red potatoes, and a ton of fresh herbs. And then you just stir this up, let this simmer until all the veggies are soft. And then I add in about a cup of coconut milk to make this nice and creamy. It gives it a beautiful flavor. Add in some spices and this is a great meal to serve with homemade rolls or just on its own. You can never have too much soup during the fall season. Fourth meal I'm going to share is my absolute favorite. It is stuffed acorn squash. I pretty much live for this during the fall time. This is a sausage and apple stuffed acorn squash. So I start off again by cutting up that acorn squash. I like to cut it in half and then scoop out the inside seeds. And this is going to be the base of your recipe, kind of like the bowl to put all of your toppings into. So I'm going to bake these upside down in a pan for about an hour. While that is cooking and getting soft, I'm going to dice up the insides I'm gonna be putting in here. So I'm dicing up some celery, onions, some apples, and cooking it in some sausage. Also adding in a jalapeno just to give it a little bit of spice. If you have kids or someone that doesn't like something spicy, you can take that out. My kids all are good with spice and it just is, gives it that wonderful flavor with that sweet apple and that spicy jalapeno. I'm browning sausage and sauteing my vegetables at the same time. Once everything is about cooked, I'm adding in some rosemary and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to stuff my acorn squash with the sausage and veggie filling. I will top this with cheese and bake it until the cheese is melted and these are ready to serve. recipe I'm sharing is butternut squash soup. I love a creamy butternut squash soup. Again, you are cutting up in that butternut squash. Now make sure you have some good sharp knives this fall because you're gonna need them while you're cutting into all of these different squashes and gourds and <laughs> pumpkins and things. But I'm just cutting this up into small pieces. I'm going to saute up the butternut squash with some onions and garlic and a little bit of oil. Add in some water or broth into your soup pot and then you're going to blend this up to get a nice smooth butternut squash puree. into your saucepan and then you can add in some coconut milk or regular cream, fresh rosemary, and this makes a delicious soup. Now I like to serve this with some type of homemade bread or muffin, some roasted chicken just to make it nice and filling and turn it into a whole meal. So there you have it guys, that's five different meals that you can make this fall using up your pumpkins and your butternut squashes. And then obviously I had to add in here how to make roasted pumpkin seeds because when you're doing all this, you're gonna wanna save your seeds out to make a really delicious, healthy snack. So every time that I am making a pumpkin or cutting one open, my kids come over and they fish out all the seeds. We just pour them onto a 
baking sheet, drizzle them with a little bit of oil and some salt, and I just roast these in the oven. And then I put them in a bowl on the table and the kids just go ahead and get into this whenever they want to and have a nice snack. It's healthy and it's filling, it's just something that they can snack. You can also do this by using coconut oil, pumpkin pie spice, maybe a little bit of brown sugar to make a more sweet treat. We've done both ways. My kids just love roasted pumpkin seeds. So I like to do this a lot in the fall so they have a nice healthy snack. So I hope these meal ideas were helpful. Hopefully you try some of them and you enjoy your fall harvest this year. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I get a lot of cook with me videos like this one. I also have a 30 days of healthy eating guide down in the description box below. It's a printable cookbook or you can just have it for a digital ebook to show you a lot more healthy recipes, kind of like the ones I shared here, but a ton more. So if you're interested in that, there's a link for that in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.